Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lechin and Batoreu. This game was played in Lisbon in 1940. Lisbon is the capital city of Portugal. In this game, Alexander Lechin had white pieces and he started with d4. Batoreu played d5. c4, queen's gambit, declined, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, bishop to e7, e3, knight from b to d7, queen's gambit declined, classical variation. Knight to f3, c6, bishop to d3, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4, castling, castling, and now knight to d5. Even today, this is the most played move. Bishop takes on e7, queen takes bishop, knight to e4, e5, in order to bring light squared bishop in the game. Rook to e1, aligning the rook with black queen. Pawn takes pawn on d4, giving a lehin isolated queen's pawn. e takes on d4, knight from 7 to f6, knight to g3, queen to d6. 14 moves have been played and Batoreu is doing well. Do you agree? Knight to e5. Bishop to e6, queen to f3, rook from f to e8, h3, black to move. Now Batoreu is not sure which way to go, he played knight to c7, better was queen to b4, attacking the pawn on b2, and keeping an eye on the bishop. In the game we have knight to c7, knight to f5, attacking the queen, queen to f8. Well, if bishop takes on f5, queen takes on f5, and now black can't win the pawn because of bishop takes on f7 check, winning the rook. So, in the game we have Queen to f8. White to move, what now? How would you continue? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Alehin played knight to h6 check. Pawn takes knight. What else? If king goes to h8, then bishop takes on e6, and after pawn takes bishop, then knight from e to f7 check. Winning the game. So, Batoreu captured the knight. Queen takes on f6. Queen to g7. Batoreu is thinking that if he can exchange queens, he would be okay. Was he right? Alehin didn't want to exchange queens. He played queen to h4. Queen to g5, insisting on exchanging queens. Rook to e4. Well, if queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, and black is doing well. That is why. Alehin played rook to e4. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Attacking the pawn. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes on c4. Batoreu is a fighter. At this stage he was thinking, should I offer a draw to Alehin? Or should I wait for Alehin to offer me a draw? Rook to e6, defending the pawn on h6. Knight to e3. Black to move. Batoreo knew that in the endgame you need to centralize the king. So he played king to g7. Perhaps better was rook to d8. 
we have king to g7, knight to f5, check, king to g6. Well, if king goes to f8, knight takes on h6. So, Batreo played king to g6. This is what his thinking was. If knight takes on h6, then king to g5. And what else? If rook takes on h6, then king takes knight. He missed something, though. He missed a move. White to move. White played the move when black resigned. The move is g4. Black resigned because of the threat rook takes on h6 check. Play with black pieces played quite well. The proof is they don't call him NN. They call him by his name, Batoreo. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.